Orange County Registered Digital. Hello and welcome to the OC Varsity Gridiron Show, Week 9. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus, being joined by Dan Albano and Steve Fryer. We're here at Mission Viejo High School. We're, we will preview their game against El Toro High School coming up. But first, our stars of Week 8. And I'll start off first, guys. I have a small school sensation in Patrick Glasgow from Calvary Chapel. He had six touchdowns last week, 27 out of 40 passing for 428 yards. Steve, who do you got? Well, I got Zach Taylor, the quarterback over at uh, Buena Park. I had a dynamite game. I threw for 370 yards and three touchdowns. Yeah, I saw Zach a couple weeks ago. He's a pretty good player. Dan, you have a couple guys, huh? Yeah, I got two guys. Our defensive player of the week this week, Grady Higgins from uh, Santa Margarita had 12 total tackles, and then Little Park quarterback Anthony Navarro threw for a school record 367 yards. Guys, can the unthinkable happen? After the all the talk in the preseason about our heavyweights in the county, modern day yeah. Servite, kind of number one, number two all year, could they both miss the playoffs? I mean, they could be one and three after this weekend. Well, that horn just tells you how shocked everybody is by that possibility. Yeah, it could happen, you know, because. Uh, you know, Jay Sayers went over modern day last, last week, you know, shook up a lot of things, not just the county landscape and changed the football universe as you and I and you know it, but it's pretty, uh, pretty interesting stuff because, you know, they're probably going to be number one or two coming out of that league, and then who's number three? I, I don't know. You know, the top three teams in that league get guaranteed playoff bursts. The other three have to vie for one of the two or both of the uh, at-large bursts that's in the Pac-5 division. You got six teams in that league. One of them's not going to go to the playoffs. I don't know which one it's going to be, but it's going to be dynamite. Interesting to see what's going to happen. Yeah, Steve, we were at that game. Jay Sarah celebrating, I think they won a championship, yeah. which was nice to see because, gosh, they've never been there before, and they were excited about it. Hey, Dan, what are your thoughts? Servite modern day, could they both miss the playoffs? I don't. I, it could happen. Um, I think one of them will definitely make it, and I think the Trinity League will at least get four teams, um, you know, maybe five. Um, but I think the Trinity League should get five. But what's going to, you know, I think Servite's in the tougher boat. Even if Servite can fall back on the great schedule that they played when it's all, you know, comes, when it all shakes out, they still played, you know, uh, Bishop Gorman. They still played De La Salle. Nobody else is playing that kind of schedule. The problem for, you know, I think Servite's got to win one of the next two games probably because, uh, you know, if they, they end on about a three-game losing streak, it's really going to be tough. So the Trinity League, anything can happen. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys, uh, you know, I mentioned Mission Viejo, and we're going to talk about the Diablos as they face the Chargers on the OC Varsity Gridiron Extra Show. But uh, we could talk about some other teams that are in South Orange County. How about Tribuco Hills taking on San Clemente guys? The Mustangs are a team that not a whole lot of people are talking about, but they're making some noise, Steve. You know, I've kept them in, the, uh, in my personal, like, top uh, 25, somewhere around 15, give or take. They're really good. You know, they, play, they played some pretty tough teams early on, and, and they've, uh, you know, climbed up in that Seaview League uh, race. Uh, they got, they're going to play San Clemente at San Clemente with Sam Darnold throwing the ball like crazy, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Chibuca Hills is allowed only about, you know, six and a half, seven points a game uh, in this in this run of theirs. So they've won, you know, a few games in a row. So that's going to be an interesting game. Definitely an offense versus defensive game down there at Salasa Stadium in San Clemente. Dan, you're kind of an expert on the Empire League. You saw some teams recently. Um, Valencia, this is probably their year, and uh, they got a big win last week. They are playing Tustin, who have perennially been the kind of the beast of the Empire League. Where do you see this one headed? Well, this is a big game, and this is, you know, Valencia trying to seal up, you know, potential undefeated season in the Empire League, really get their, their stock high for a best possible playoff seed in the Southwest Division. All the momentum coming off that 14-13 victory over Cyprus, and it seemed like they uh, the Tigers had the uh, more physical, you know, ground game, the way they ran the ball. So I think uh, they're going to have to do the same, similar thing to try to keep off some of those great athletes. You know, George Wilson and company at Tuss, and they got some athletes, kind of like, uh, you know, Quentin Pounds at Cyprus. So I think Valencia needs to do what they did last week against Cyprus one more week. That'll just about do it. Uh, any costume for you, Steve? You know what? How I'm uh, coming up. I'm going to go with Dan Albano. I'm going to iron me a nice Hawaiian shirt. I love these Hawaiian shirts, Dan. How often do you go to Hawaii? <laughs> Not enough. Not often <laughs> enough. That's always the answer right? with everybody. Good answer, Dan. Exactly. Hey, our thanks to Dan Albano. Our thanks to Steve Fryer. That's the OC Varsity Gridiron Show. And check out ocvarsity.com this weekend for all your latest scores and updates. That's ocvarsity.com, where we've got you covered.
Orange County Register. We are here in the service of Orange County.